Taurus, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Taurus Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. There's a new video that comes out every single week. So Taurus, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Taurus content comes out every single Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific time. That's over here on the West Coast. Guys, there's always an extended reading that I provide for you, and I hope you guys can join me. Um, that link is right below. We go just deeper and get more details, and it's awesome. Or you can join the Unbound membership, and with the Unbound membership, you get unlimited access to all the extended readings for the life of your membership. If you want to join me for daily tarot card readings, remember I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, where I do daily motivational live tarot card readings, so I'd love for you to join the chat. I'll attach the link above. The astrology this week is 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 challenging. Um, yeah, Venus is square most of the week to wall of the week to um, Jupiter. Um, and um, then she also becomes square to, to Chiron. Um, but a beautiful thing happens toward the end of the week, which is a, a sextile to Uranus and a trine to the south node. What does this mean? It means that there is frustration and there is a sense of, am I good enough? You know, why aren't things growing quickly enough? Why aren't they expanding enough? I don't understand where all this complications is coming from. Why can't things move faster? And there's constantly like, do I look good enough? Am I, am I good looking enough? Am I good at what I do? Like, what is my quality? Questioning your quality. Maybe never feeling like you ever really are truly hitting the nail on the head when it comes to, um, am I fulfilling my full potential? None of this is a truth. It is just how you're kind of what you're working through right now. It's just how you're what you're going to be confronting this week. And it's kind of a compromised position. But toward the end of the week, this beautiful sextile to Uranus really prepares you guys want like, let's change. And it's almost like you realize now what has to change from the past or what you have to let go from the past or how to do it. Because sextiles are relationships where that you really can get something done finally, especially when it comes to how you feel compromised or how you sort of felt stunted or how you have you felt like there's potential, but at the same time, there's so much room for distraction and nothing really lasts. And if nothing really lasts or everything seems to be like a one hit wonder in my life and then it gets hard again, why isn't there any consistency? And I want you to ask those questions because those are the kind of questions that you should seek answers to this week and you will get answers for this week. So first card that comes out is Embrace the In-Between Flamingo, which is... Uh, it's a balance. It's a it's a sign of balance and so an, an, an economy, but at the same time, um, it's in reverse. So ultimately, there's a sense of a lack of balance or feeling like something just isn't isn't right, Taurus, or that that there is and okay. You know what's not right, and I don't think you can kid yourself about it anymore. I would suggest maybe that you go watch the Scorpio video. It was a huge reading. And since you are directly run opposite to Scorpio, I've got to say there is an essence here of this. What is this? It's a sense of, you know, things have got to change. You know that they can't be what they are, or you know that they're never going to be what you've tried to make them. And the only way out is out. And yet... There is this resistance and it is your natural stubbornness to not, I don't want to change. I don't, I don't know change. That's why it's so beautiful and liberating later this week when um, Venus is sextile to Uranus because it's all about change and innovation and a sort of breakthrough that should have come through a long time ago. And, and, and you'll be ready to make a decision then. You'll be ready for your choice then. Um, we have lay a solid foundation. This has to do with structuring your life, planning for the future. This has to do with hard work, dedication. It also has to do with building a family. This is a sense of you, 
you've worked really hard to establish something and that's why you don't want to give up on it. That's why that there is this resistance, but I've worked too hard. You know, that beautiful expression, I've come too far to come only come this far. I have to keep going. But you don't have to waste your time on something that you know isn't working and there's a difference because the difference is progress. There's a sense of are you stuck and going in circles and digging yourself deeper or is this momentous? Is this keep going? Is it going to lead somewhere? No, this is a cycle that you have become stuck in. And that's what's, it's hard when you're in it. it when you are in it, a cycle looks like you're walking in a straight line. So it appears to you that you've been making progress and that things were gonna change, but you've actually been going in a circle and nothing's gonna change. And if you look up every once in a while, you realize I have continued to see the same shit over and over and over again. And that means that I'm not making progress. I'm stuck in a loop. And so I have to stop doing this because this is a, it's looping me. It's not, it's not, I've come this far to only come this far. No, you're getting nowhere. And you know that. And that's the way to see it. Because I know when you're in it, it looks like the same. But it's not the same. Because how many times have you been through the same shit? How many times have you had to make uh, an excuse for the same action or the same behavior of your own or somebody that you're dealing with? Um, or of a situation? How many times? And ultimately, you're done. You're sick of it. You know there isn't any goodness or prosperity. You know there's no, that this is not your path. This is your purgatory. And it is, it is, uh, it is through the blessing of God that you're going to get the strength to stop repeating the same pattern. Um, there is always enough. This is Piscean energy. There's a lot of emotion here. Um, it's interesting how you're getting more contrast here. This is Virgo Pisces energy. This is very oppositional energy that you've got going on. Um, a challenge. Something's always challenging. And it could be, check your natal charts, that you have a really strong opposition in your chart, which is something that you'll always struggle with. And when you always struggle with something, it is imperative that you get outside perspective and trust that because you'll never be able to see your way out yourself. And I have just heard, I'm hearing um, from, from God, from this, you know, transmission of message that uh, people have been telling you about it. If not directly, then through their, through the way they look and you've seen them, you've caught, you've caught them looking at you, you've caught them giving you a sense of wait, why are you doing this or or ugh, like a being disgusted at a situation for you if you're in denial about it and so you know some people don't always have to speak to say something and it's been very clear I think you you already know you already know and believe them because this isn't these aren't messages that are against you these are messages that are coming in for you um, um, and, and worried that, uh, not under, worried, worried and not understanding why um, you, you kind of got yourself lost in this, in this place. Um, know your worth. And know that, it, know, you, know your worth and, and that your worth, your value has to do with your oddities. Your value, it's, it's not coming from how you can do things the same or continue the tradition or follow the example of somebody else. That's not your value. Your value is how you're awkward. Your value is how you're, you're different. Your value, that's how, that's where your value comes from. And I think this sextile to Uranus is going to help to really show you that and empower you to realize that that's what my norm is. My norm may be an abnormality to others, but it's a normality to me. And I'm so tired of fucking trying to fit into this box that I am telling myself is the only way to be accepted, is the only way to be successful. You are wrong, Taurus, and you are burying yourself because of it. And, and uh, this is a chance for you to rebel, rebel against 
value or the value system that you established based on what you were told was valuable from the past. This is one of the most challenging things for you to do because it is so much in your nature to uphold the traditions and the value systems that other people have passed on to you. Um, and you would kind of feel like a failure um, if you couldn't do that. But the but you've been trying. You've been. It's not like you haven't been trying. You have been trying. And the reason why you continue to fail is it's because it that's not what God put you here for. You were here to innovate and change things and to establish new traditions. And that's exactly what you have to have the courage to do right now. And you're going to get the courage by finally, instead of combating or arguing with other people's commentary, criticisms, or insights that they've been sharing with you, whether it's through looks, expressions, um, or, or, or words, just maybe just their demeanor, their gesticulations, it's almost like, um, this time around, it's not about pushing against that or, or arguing with it to try to, um, to try to deny it. It's about shaking your head and accepting it, even if you don't do it out loud and at least putting your toe into the territory of, okay, I'm going to try something that is against my nature. And it's going to be the best thing that you could ever do for yourself. Taurus, no, no lighthearted conversations on War Without Boundaries Tarot. I can tell you that right now. Please remember to click subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. Um, we have Dolphin Spirit, this and that are true. And now we have an opposite perspective, realizing that they weren't wrong. They weren't wrong. You're starting to see the value in their input and um, it's like, why can't I be that light? Why do I always have to be that heavy? Because you're putting the pressure on yourself that, that you don't have to always be. Um, it, this is access and insight into a perspective that is something new to you. And then we have um, time to let go, you've held on to something. You've held on to something or somehow you, it's almost like you took one for the team, especially your family, and you like held on to the bomb so everybody else could run away. This is a sense of um, you don't really want to be carrying this. Um, you haven't let go so that others could be lighthearted and have more than you. Um, but you're, this is a stuck. Then this is scorpionic energy of not being able to admit or always pushing away and denying what's really eating away at you and causing conflict inside of you. So what is that? What is eating away at Taurus and causing conflict inside of them? We're going to try to get to the bottom of this. What is eating away at Taurus and causing conflict inside of them? Who you wanted to be when you were young. Despite what everybody else around you was telling you you needed to be or you should be. What you aspired to be and what you actually, what filled you up and made you happy and you've gotten really far away from that. You have sunk that deep down inside and not allowed yourself to do that. Um, um, yeah, this was a real happiness for you. Um, you could have been getting a lot of dreams about this. This is Aquarian energy. The togetherness and the society, like the people that you really wanted to be around and who you really wanted to be and the place in the world that you really fit in. You may have acquired great wealth or great success, but it wasn't based on what you wanted or who you really still are deep down inside. And it's funny, you can make millions and billions of fucking dollars and if you don't do it in authenticity, you hate it. It's a waste of time and the only thing that, that it's money. And so if you felt like you've gotten detached or you're just droning on and doing things for the next paycheck or that you have settled or decided that success is based on this, this monetary payback, <laughs> you're going to get emptier and emptier inside every time because when you were small 
when you were new, you felt complete, you felt whole, you felt in unison and partnership and in love. And that is almost like you are dreaming and aching for this change. You have the Ten of Cups and you have the Ten of Pentacles. That's so much abundance. But I think a lot of this abundance is based on what you have built upon your authenticity. And you will not compromise that. And so it's still like you're stuck. Taurus. So what do they do about it? Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Well, there is a full moon that's coming up soon. It's in Leo season, but it will be in Aquarius. Um, full moon in Leo came in Aquarius season. Maybe you might want to look back to what was going on during that, during Aquarius season that would have been in February. Um, don't let pride hold you back. This is once again in reverse. So there was, there was pride getting in your way. This also could be, if you're dealing with a Leo, um, somebody who's very uh, abusive or repressive or <coughs> condescending. And um, no matter how hard you try to um, smooth it out, the only way to confront this is to just flat out confront it because right now this is being oppressed by somebody. You know, this is, this is, um, this is, this is allow. it's like being kind to them and trying to make amends and reach out to them is, um, is actually letting them win because they're now depending on your kindness. So this could be somebody who is definitely bullying you, taking over. It's, it's somebody that you've lost respect for a long time ago. Um, and, and, uh, um, now there's just this like, an satiation process of you know what I can earn or um, you, you've just filled in the happiness with a lot of things that really don't make you happy um, okay so what does Taurus do about this uh, bondage um, wings of light you're being protected I feel like somebody's going to come to your rescue. That's what it's saying. It's almost like in some ways they know that you can't get out of this by yourself. It's it's a divine intervention of sorts. And it, there it's it's intentional. It's like I'm coming to get you. I'm not going to let you suffer this or or so the universe is actually interfering on your behalf. And I know that's going to come probably by, this is Wednesday, by next Wednesday when that sextile um, between Venus and Uranus happened. It, the, the universe is intervening to, excuse me, I, there's so much just toxic energy floating around that I'm feeling now because of this. Um, you're not at fault here. Um, I think your intention was to save somebody or their intention was to save you. And now you're, you have to save yourself. Um, this is also saving yourself from like you, you're going to get a chance. You're going to get an opportunity to get out of your chains and you have to take it. You have to take it. When is this coming? When is this coming? I don't know if you're going to a concert at some time, at some point. I asked when it's coming, but practicing with people, um, walking away from the old shit, walking away from the people who are trying to grab at you, the people who are opportunistic and trying to get at you, um, <laughs> deciding to escape them, get away from them. Um, um, and showing up in your best, looking your best, deciding to put your best foot forward. Um, it's almost like you're running away from crowds. It's almost like you're running away from having to impress people. And now just wanting to be around people who just like to do and love to do the things that you actually love to do. There's some sort of a go to your art, go to your creativity, go to... Um, uh, where you feel really most authentically yourself and be able to join that because this pompousness is you're so finished, you're so done with it. 
I really want to know how all this is coming out unexpectedly deep. <laughs> unexpectedly. But it, that's what it's setting you up for. It's setting you up to want to change. Guardian, so you've been protected this whole time, especially from, you know, being bullied or being unsafe. You've been protected this whole time. Um, and then this is five. So there's change. So you're being protected or like a guardian angel because that's what this card is. Where are you? That's what this card is. Somebody's watching over you and intervening on your behalf. There's guardians here that are going to make this change happen for you. And seven is it's out al it's alchemy you've actually manifested this you've actually magically created it or have been working on it maybe in silence and now this is singularity like it's coming to fruition or you're, you're finding who you are again and what your your value is again it's it's manifesting into reality um It's, it's, it's almost like coming out of the proverbial closet and, and showing the authentic side of yourself, maybe the magical side of yourself or the side of yourself that creates things. It's, 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 I, I don't know. I'm going into, I'm going to, I gotta go, I gotta go deeper into tarot. This is, uh, it's tugging at me. I'll see you guys. The link is below. I'll see you guys there.